You got yours? Yeah, it's right here. I'll make you a path, Dayton. There, you got a nice path. <laughs> you just threw them all in my line. <laughs> Holy leaf assist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. On a perfect stolen late fall Ontario day, two good buddies share a round. How's my hair look, Hato? It looks amazing. Okay, good. Some luscious locks. Making shots. Oh, dude, come on. Taking shots. It's a four, eh? Really? Yeah. You want it out? I'm glad you can count that high. You want it? <laughs> Good shot. Thanks. Sort of. Not really. Having a time. Oh, yeah. You would never know <laughs> the hell they have been through and the scars that remain. A report of a vehicle fire. Two vehicles on fire. People trapped inside. I just kept asking if he alive. I kept praying, please, please let him be okay. Tragic scene on an American highway. Number of fatalities in a bus crash. Yeah, six members of that golf team, including their coach. All my friends are gone. My second family is gone. We are going to need two helicopters, please. I never got to say goodbye to them. There's lots of guilt. Dayton, he didn't feel that. Why are we alive and the rest are not? He still boggles my mind. That happened in the span of two seconds. It was a little fate and a lot of golf that brought Dayton Price and Hayden Underhill together. All right, buddy, let's roll. Watch yourself there. Yeah, there's a hole there. Oh, boy. Thread the needle, eh? Hayden grew up in Kingston, Ontario, a good hockey player who fell in love with golf, despite a shaky start. Were you a natural? No. My grandparents still tell me to this day about the first time they took me out after they told my parents, they're like, he's not going to be a golfer. He, he's not very good. Dayton was raised a four-hour drive away in Hamilton. But same story, triple-A hockey before trading in stick for sticks. He's, al he's always had uh, pretty sweet hands. He, he took it on pretty quickly. As a mom, you can recognize that once they have a dream, they need to chase it. <laughs> Tell me how you first met Dayton. We were actually uh, probably 15, I believe. We played in a tournament in the Toronto area. What did you like about him? Uh, he, we kind of got the same sense of humor, very um, sarcastic. Let's go. That's cool, baby. Time, time to bring out the big guns. Probably chirp each other 90% of the time, and uh, it's always a good laugh when we're together. And you're like a really close buddy, you're like breathing on it. Yeah, exactly. Can I sign it? Yeah. <laughs> you have a Sharpie? <laughs> they became fast friends, and by pure chance, ended up with scholarships to the same tiny school, University of the Southwest, far from home in New Mexico. Tell me about your team. How close were you all? We were really close, and we were like a family to each other. We always hung out together. The team that we were on, we all got along. We were all buddies, just having a good time and just always motivating each other to get better and helping each other if we can. On March 15, 2022, the Mustangs played a tournament in Texas. There were eight players in the team van, driven by coach Tyler James. We finished probably around 6 o'clock, then we're on our venture back to the school. And that's really the last thing I remember. Andrews, responding units, it is going to be a head-on collision. Both vehicles fully engulfed at this time. Authorities say a pickup truck crossed the center line, ramming head-on into a van carrying members of the University of the Southwest men's and women's golf teams. We got the call at a quarter to 2 a.m. when I turned after the call to find my husband at the end of our bed on his knees praying was really hard to watch. It was the worst moment of my life, not knowing really his full extent of his injuries. It was just heartbreaking. Said he was uh, in critical condition on life support. The head nurse came and said, are you mama? And I said, yes, and she held my hand. She says, are you ready for this? I was ejected from the van, launched probably about 65 feet approximately from where the van had finished. 
And all I remember is punching and kicking it and elbowing it, trying to break out of the glass window. I was burned 45% of my body, uh, all third and fourth degree burns. It's the most pain that I've ever felt in my life. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was hard to see him like that. The doctors told me that they were going to have to amputate both of my legs. The boys fought for their lives. Uh, what is that? Uh, where, it, uh, where it attaches. And won. Dayton's legs were saved. After several days in a coma, Hayden was going to be OK. But the two Canadian friends were the only survivors of the crash. It is confirmed now nine people dead, including six members of the University of the Southwest golf team. Driver and a 13-year-old in the pickup truck also died. Basically, my whole team was gone. Dayton was the only other one that survived. Like, I didn't really, I don't think, comprehend what had truly happened. Where is Tiago? Where is Mal? Where is Jackson? Where is Travis? Where is Carissa? Where is Lacey? Where is Coach? And he said that they passed away. How important was golf in getting you through this? It probably was, the, it's been the biggest thing for me to get through this, I think, just, it's my happy place. So at Dayton, majority of his uh, injuries happened in the lower half, especially through his ankles, so we're trying to build back, not just strength, but mostly mobility. There you go, much better, well done. Was golf your motivation? to keep going? Yeah. I wanted to get back and play and whatever that meant. Kind of uncharted territories a little bit, right? Like, it's just like <clears throat> you have an elite level athlete like that that all of a sudden literally has to learn how to play again. Yeah. That was off the heel. The goal was to get up and, and just play and just start to swing and, and sort of beat the odds. He did. They both did. Remarkably, Dayton and Hayden were playing tournaments again before the year was over. I rode with him because he couldn't walk the course at that point. And there's tears in my eyes seeing him actually hit a ball again. Three days into it, bloody soles on his feet, blisters, probably every ache and pain on his body, but he did it. I am the most proud mother on the planet. It's March 2023, a year since the accident. Dayton and Hayden are back in New Mexico at a memorial for their lost teammates. We thank you, Father, for what you're doing in our lives. We thank you, Father, for what all of our children meant. How Today is definitely a whirlwind of emotions. I, a little bit of everything. It was happy, sad, weird. I mean, there's no, there's no right way to describe it. We'd like to say that we're truly, truly impressed by the inspiration that they are to be able to be here within 12 months of this accident and be able to stand as tall as they are and be able to play golf. It's, a, it's amazing. So. How is this fair? All these families lost their kids and I'm still here for a reason that I have no clue what it is. Well, he said to me, my teammates are never gonna get this opportunity. I said to him, Dayton, take them with you. As I go on with my life, with our life, those people will always be right beside me. Golf is almost a way for me to feel like that I can carry on their legacies. Coach Tyler James. <laughs> Lacey Stone. Travis Garcia. Jackson's in. Woo! Nice! Chris Rains. Mauricio Sanchez. Tiago Sosa. Your relationship with Hayden, you think you'll always be close because of this? Yeah. 
it's nice to have somebody there knowing how if he can do it, I can do it kind of thing. If I can do it, he can do it. I think we're always going to be there for each other, rely on each other, and we're always going to stay buddies forever, for sure. We're, we're definitely not the way we wanted to be bonded, but we, we, def we, are, we definitely are bonded forever. It really is hopeful that the two of them can get through this together and talk through some of the things that they're feeling. I mean, there's obviously good days, there's obviously bad days, and we both know that if we ever need to talk to someone, we can rely on each other. We may not see each other all the time, may not talk every single day, but we will always have that memory of going to school together and how to persevere and get through all this stuff together.